welcome to another Tabitha's Glass Emporium YouTube video. Today we're looking at this. This is kind of a patchwork coasters with a beautiful enamel detail on them. And today I'm going to show you how to make these. So to make these coasters like this, it's kind of a patchwork um, technique that we've done in other videos, but we're adding a bit of enamels on top. So I've taken my kind of um, scrap greens, because I, you know, they're a great project to use up scrap. I've got some a candy mix here, and I've got a, um, a flat twisty cane. Now we sell these, they're only two euros, guys. That's amazing. And you get such texture in them when you fuse them into a project. I'm looking forward to seeing how they look on a full fuse. Now, um, what the first thing I want to do is just, I'm literally going to kind of take a piece of glass and cut it into squares. I sort of using squares, it's quite nice to have a mat with a grid below it so that you can um, work it out. Um, sometimes I do a whole line across, sometimes I don't. But it's effectively just adding, um, building it up. Normally I would use a ruler, but I can't see one to hand right now, so I'm just going to freehand it. And then I would um, put it on. Now I'm going to use some almas, because that's what I've got to hand. And it works. So you put that on, and then I'm going to find another piece that will go against that. Then it might be the same size, or I might use a bit of a, a square a piece. You can see magic hands of family a ruler in the background. If you say you can't find things, sometimes they disappear around here. And effectively, I'm just going to build both of them up, and you know, I might add some an area here with some marine, you know, scrap marini. These are just. transparent hearts. Um, and I'm going to carry on adding, building it all up and we can have a look at it before we add the uh, enamels.
So we're now going to use colours of the earth um, enamels, white enamel, to make some patterns on here. I'm going to get Tina to do this because she has got a better hand at this kind of thing than me. out of the kiln looking great and um, we put some bumpers on the back I just think bumpers are a really nice way to finish off coasters to make them feel kind of that much um, that kind of elevates them in, in two senses of the word elevates them off the floor and also um, it just makes them a slightly kind of um, a, a nicer product um, the white is a little bit burnt out um, that we put on I think that's probably us not knowing how to use these enamels it's the first time we've used colors of the earth um, and we really like them, but I just need to learn a bit better um, in the firing. I'm sure um, we can get better advice on that. But I just, I love this kind of um, uh, design of putting the enamels on. I think it works really well. Um, you know, the, just how the different things, the um, surprise twisty cane, that's such a cool effect. Um, this here, which was a piece of um, candy mix because it had transparent around it, it's kind of almost floating in the middle of that. These other bits of candy mix, they all look great. And it just is a really kind of fun, funky um, coasters. And I think it's a set of two tied up with a ribbon, like these ones, just look really good. Um, and I think, you know, they're sort of you know, great things to have and easy to sell. I know over the summer when we have lots of tourists coming in, those will sell really well. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember, you can get all our products like our candy mix and our um, flat twisty cane at tabithasglassemporium.com. Um, keep up to date with all of our YouTube videos by subscribing here and turning on notifications. If you go to our website, you can sign up to our newsletter and learn about all new products or any special offers we have. Um, so it's very good to sign up to our newsletter and check that out too. I hope you've enjoyed this one and until next time, happy fusing.